Did you know that a molecule as simple as nitric oxide is critical to our health and well-being? It has a myriad of essential cellular functions and responsibilities. It supports the strength and function of our immune system. It helps regulate blood flow and has the ability to decrease elevated blood pressure. It can prevent the onset of high blood pressure and protect against heart disease. It helps oxygenate skeletal muscle, smooth muscles of the organ system, and supplies oxygen to our peripheral nerves. It also helps support neuron function in the brain, improving memory, regulating mood, and stabilizing behavior. But did you know that one of the hallmarks of aging is a steady decrease in nitric oxide levels with each passing year, contributing to a drastic decrease in our health? So in part one of this video series, I'll help you identify the main culprits in your life that are nitric oxide destroyers. And in part two of this video series, I'll show you how you can effectively and inexpensively rebuild your nitric oxide levels. Stick around, you don't want to miss this. Hey gang, Dr. C here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy and start living again, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now, let's dive in. Nitric oxide is naturally produced in the body by endothelial cells of the inner walls of the blood vessels and epithelial cells in the nasal cavities, primarily the paranasal sinuses. What makes nitric oxide so important is that it has many important functions within the human body. It's been shown to decrease inflammation, reduce nerve pain, improve healing, improves brain function, decreases blood pressure, decreases blood clots, kills bacteria and parasites, helps with erectile dysfunction, and improves heart function, and it also diminishes depression and mood disorders. Now, let me take just a moment to explain how vital nitric oxide is for our health and recovery of our peripheral nerves. Nitric oxide has the ability to widen or dilate blood vessels in the body. This isn't just important for establishing healthy blood pressure levels. This is essential to allow increased oxygen and nutrient delivery to peripheral nerves to aid in the repair and regeneration. Believe it or not, we're just barely scratching the surface of the power of nitric oxide. If you want to learn more about this amazing molecule, you'll want to check out our video, The Miracle, Miracle Molecule. I'll leave a link in the, in the box below. Now, here's what you really need to know. Your ability to produce nitric oxide diminishes as you get older, causing a substantial decrease in nitric, nitric oxide production. For instance, by the time men hit age 40, there's usually a 50% decrease in nitric oxide production. It's not quite as severe in women with only a 15% drop by the age of 40. But women begin to catch up to men by the next decade. By the time men and women hit 50 years old, there's close to a 70% drop off in nitric oxide production and the numbers continue to decrease with each decade. By 70 years old, there is little to no nitric oxide production in the body. Now, that should scare the hell out of you, or better yet, at least motivate you. The good news is that it has less to do with your chronological age and more to do with your lifestyle habits taking a, a toll on your health. And the reason that this is good news is because I'm going to arm you with identifying the things in your life that are killing your nitric oxide production, killing your health, and possibly preventing your nerve recovery. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. And that's number one, physical inactivity. Lack of regular physical activity will reduce the body's ability to produce nitric oxide. Exercise in any form stimulates endothelium of the blood vessels to release nitric oxide. Now, sedentary behavior, which is a euphemism for being a couch potato, will lead to lower nitric oxide levels. 
Now, I do know that there are some of you that would love to get back to working out, whether it's in the gym, hiking, biking, walking, or whatever your favorite activity might be, but you just can't because the neuropathy will flare up and it'll put you down for the next few days. So you're wondering, how do you get around this? Don't worry, I have a solution for you. You can start by doing the exercises that I've outlined for your peripheral neuropathy recovery. Dr. M and I have put together a series of neuropathy exercises that are vital for your recovery. And if your neuropathy is severe, don't worry because we've broken each exercise down separately so you can start off with just one or two, which will only take you five minutes. This will still have a significant impact on your peripheral nerve recovery, along with increase in nitric oxide production without flaring up your neuropathy. I'll include a link below to our neuropathy exercise playlist. We have a couple different versions. One is fully narrated where we explain each exercise. That's designed for someone who's never seen these exercises and doesn't know how to do them. Our second version eliminates us speaking and supplies you with just the exercise to an upbeat musical background. And of course, we've broken down each exercise into its own video, just in case you need to start off slowly with just one or two exercises at a time. There, easy fix, so there should be no excuses. Okay, let's look at the second cause of a decreased nitric oxide production, sleep deprivation or insufficient sleep. Now, just for a moment, let's put aside people who are having difficulty sleeping because of their neuropathy symptoms. Don't worry, I'll also address this for you guys too. But first, let's tackle the group who has the worst sleep habits. You stay up late at night watching TV, or you watch TV in bed and fall asleep with it on. You work on a computer, laptop, or a tablet late at night. You sleep with your smartphone or your computer in your bedroom and you don't get a full seven hours sleep, which is the bare minimum that you need. These habits are definitely destroying your nitric oxide production. Now, for those of you who can't sleep because of your neuropathy symptoms, the first thing you wanna do is make the house a bit warmer while you sleep by one or two degrees. Now, this is typically contrary to good sleep hygiene. Usually it's better to sleep in a cooler room. However, research has shown that cold temperatures can worsen most types of neuropathy pain and symptoms. Also, apply topical non-toxic pain cream to your skin right before bed. And if you're on pain medication, take a dose right before going to bed. Lastly, stop all screen time at least one hour before bed and avoid bright lights in the house or the bedroom. This can upset your sleep cycles, making you more vulnerable to waking up from your, your neuropathy symptoms. Okay, moving on to number three, chronic stress. Now, chronic stress is a major contributing factor to inflammation leading to damaged cells, including damage to blood vessels and the immune system. Glucocorticoid hormones like cortisol are one of the hormones that negatively affect the production of nitric oxide, causing your levels to plummet. Okay, moving on to number four, bad fats. When we're talking about bad fats, we're really referring to trans fats, also known as hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated fats and seed oils. Seed oils like vegetable oils, corn oil, canola oil, or rapeseed oil if you're in the UK, soybean oil, sunflower and safflower oil, grapeseed oil, rice bran oil, and palm kernel oil. These are oils that are omega-6 fatty acids, which we get in a, in a largely disproportionate amount. The end result is inflammation and significant damage to blood vessels and heightened immune responses like in autoimmune diseases. Make sure to avoid these oils at all costs. Okay, moving on to number five processed foods and beverages. When you're consuming processed foods, and remember, this isn't just necessarily junk food. It can be any food that comes in a box, carton, or can. These foods tend to be highly processed and loaded with tons of sugar, preservatives, MSG, and let's not forget about artificial sweeteners. So let's address sugar first because its effects are really unique and quite scary. Sugar spikes from eating tons of carbs and processed foods deactivate nitric oxide molecules and enzymes, leading to a steep decline in nitric oxide production. Sugar, along with any other toxic ingredient, leads to an exorbitant rise in inflammation in the body, resulting in blood vessel damage, autoimmune responses, 
cytokine storms, and mitochondrial damage. Any of these can diminish the body's capacity to generate nitric oxide. And when you stack two or more of these together, you're destroying your nitric oxide production and greatly diminishing your body's ability to heal. Okay, on to number six, mouthwash. Did you know oral bacteria, the bacteria in your mouth, plays a key role in nitric oxide production? When you use commercial mouthwashes, they can wipe out oral microbiome and limit or eradicate the nit nitric oxide production created by healthy mouth bacteria. Now, we're often asked if using an essential oil like peppermint oil will have the same effect since it's also bactericidal. And fortunately, the answer is no. This study over my shoulder shows that using an essential oil like peppermint oil or povidone iodine mouthwash have little effects on reducing oral nitrate production. We did a video on this topic and I go into much more details, so I'll leave a link for that below. Okay, on to number seven, alcohol consumption. Chronic alcohol consumption, whether it's weekly or daily, will reduce nitri nitric oxide production. Although the focus of this video is on nitric oxide, I do want to remind you that research has shown that consuming one to two glasses of wine or beer daily for one year or more can result in peripheral nerve damage. And the last one on our list that I'll cover today is number eight, smoking and vaping. Research has shown that both smoking and vaping can significantly lower nitric oxide production. Both smoking and vaping can introduce chemicals into your body that have been shown to cause extensive damage to endothelial cells of your blood vessels, impairing the body's ability to generate nitric oxide. So health warriors, you can see how extremely important it is to dodge these bullets that will squelch your nitric oxide production. It literally can mean the difference between recovery or relapse of your peripheral neuropathy. We know that the peripheral nerves are the slowest healing tissues in your body. So it's critical to re remove as many obstacles as possible and arm your body for a successful recovery. And in part two of this video series, Nitric Oxide Rebuilders, I'll go over everything you can do to restore your nitric oxide levels. So make sure you subscribe and click on the bell to get notified as soon as part two is released. Together, let's embark on this transformative journey towards great health and complete neuropathy recovery fueled by the power of nitric oxide. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health.